it's me again, Mike. <laughs> Story number three. <laughs> so, yeah. This, I guess this occurred on one random night again, you know. And, uh, I was downtown, you know. I think it was on a Thursday night. I was downtown, and I, you know, I was by myself, actually. And I went to, uh, the loft. And I was dancing with some people. And I end up, like, meeting these two girls. And they're like, yeah, let's go. Let's go to my friend's house. And I was like, okay, well, let's go. I'm drunk. You're drunk. Let's go. And, uh, so we took a taxi to the apartment complex. And, uh, yeah. So what what like, apartment was it? Um, Riverbend Apartments. Yeah. It was Riverbend Apartments. And, uh... Yeah, so we end up going there, and there was some guys' apartment, and like, but there were there were about let's see, there were about three girls there, and there were like three guys, including me. So we we're like all decided to go to the pool. So I was like, I was like, yeah, let's go to the pool. Fuck. <laughs> so I end up like stripping down to my boxers and going in the pool and you know, chilling, and uh, of course you know we were in the pool, you know. You know, playing around, messing around in the pool. It was fun. And uh, so we decided to go back to the apartment. And this is when, like, the guys kind of just, like, flipped the script on me. I was like, all right. So I was chilling with one girl. And we came back to the apartment. And they are like, well, you got to go. You got to go. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, what? Everything was fine until now. And, uh, you know, the reason why I think they tried to, get me out because one girl wasn't doing anything and there was only two other girls and you know I was kind of occupied with one other girl and then so there was one girl left so I was like all right well, we gotta get this other guy out because there's not that much pussy left <laughs> so they like basically like forced me out of the house like the two guys that were staying there forced me out of the house in my boxers I was cool with leaving but I had all my shit in the apartment. So, like, I'm outside in my boxers. And I'm like, what the hell? My wallet, my phone, my clothes is in the house. So, like, I'm thinking, okay, well, I got to get my stuff back. So I knock on the door. Nicely knock on the door the first time. Second time, knock on the door. Third time, I banged on the door. I was like, okay, guys, I'm pissed off now. Of course. And, and, and so what I do? I kick in the door, yeah, I kick the door in, and like, I guess when I kick the door in, or before I kick the door in, they called the cops on me because I was banging obnoxiously, you know, on the door, blah, 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 and so like, the cops end up coming, and uh, I was like, fuck, I'm fucked again, so the cops were like, alright, put your hands behind your back, or whatnot, and uh, I was like, no, what did I do wrong? I just came in and got my stuff. <laughs> and so, of course, I was I was laying on the ground and they're and like, uh, they like, put your hands behind your back. I had my hands, you know, on my chest, like laying down on it. And they're like struggling to try to get my arm from underneath me. They're like, they're like, we're going to pepper spray you if you don't put your hands behind your back. And uh, they end up not pepper spraying me because I was kind of like in on this nice rug of the apartment, they they want to fuck up the apartment rug, so then I gave in. I was like, "All right, guys, you can have my hands. Stop playing around with you." So I ended up getting arrested that night. You know, yeah, it sucked. I, I got a uh, what did I get arrested for? What was it? It was, uh, of course, obstruction of officer. You know, I always get that somehow. Obstruction of officer. Uh, I didn't get public intoxication because. Uh, yeah, they didn't give me public intoxication. Destruction of officer, disorderly conduct, uh, destruction, d destruction to property, uh, trespass to property. <laughs> yeah. So that's basically what I got arrested and for that time. How, how much jail did you get for that? Oh man, I was I was on probation still, so I end up. I ended up probably staying in jail for like maybe two months for that. Yeah, too much for that one. But overall, I would say the longest I ever spent in jail probably was 
five months.